Josh Eaton here, realitycheckradio.net, ashlandnews.org. So it looks like uh, Congress is being fooled by uh, this administration into signing on to a plan to to uh, arm and train some so-called Syrian rebels. And again, you know, we don't even know who exactly these people are. Um, he's got an ulterior motive. It's not just to... Uh, destroy ISIS. That is not his motive. His motive is, is to protect ISIS. Um, but he's trying to use the situation to uh, overthrow the Assad uh, administration in Syria. Um, President Assad over there is pro-Christian. Um, they very friendly toward Christians. I'm not sure if he's Christian himself, but uh, basically, if you check out my other uh, video blog titled ISIS, and I explain, give a rundown of how that army came about. Um, you can get more information of what I said. I don't want to have to repeat myself too much, but basically you see this president uh, stalling, drawing out debate, doing everything he can to not attack this ISIS army. Um, and now he's saying in the news, uh, the White House is basically saying it'll take many months to arm and train this faction of Syrian rebels. Um, so he's basically, he's he's buying himself many, quote, many months, more time to stall. And in the meantime, this, this army, it is Al-Qaeda. Um, they're cutting off the heads of Christians, murdering Christians uh, thousands at a time, and uh, taking over more land. They control a, a big uh, hydroelectric dam in northern I Iraq now. It says on the news today, basically they're <clears throat> they're threatening um, historical uh, historical sites, ancient archaeological yeah ancient sites. Um, you know, five thousand year old uh, <laughs> cultural you know things that just uh, can never be replaced. And uh, yeah, this president stalling in, in Congress apparently is buying into it. Uh, we see France has uh, launched some airstrikes. France recently in their last election uh, got rid of their socialist-controlled government. And uh, so that's what's going on there. Uh, it's like I said in my other video. Uh, check it out it's from a few days ago. You know, this president is the enemy. Um, it, it doesn't take a genius to see it. Everything he's done has... Uh, has been to delay, stall, and and when he attacked Libya, when he violated Congress's power to declare war in Libya, to aid the Libyan rebels, those are Al Qaeda. That was Al Qaeda. It's the same group known as ISIS now up in Syria and northern Iraq. Um, he bypassed Congress to uh, to attack Libya. Nobody's ever done that. No president's ever done that before. He violated the War Powers Act. Um, you know, George Bush, you might be saying, well, George Bush did it. No, nope. George Bush, Bush uh, he followed the War Powers Act. He got approval from Congress within 60 days. Obama never did that. And in fact, he said that he didn't need to go through Congress. Leon Panetta stood on the floor of the Senate and said, uh, we don't need congressional approval because we got approval from the U.N. And that is treason, treason, treason right there. Uh, he tried to do the same thing in Syria. The Syrian rebels, I don't know what group exactly uh, he's talking about now, but the Syrian rebels, they are Al-Qaeda. It started off with Al-Qaeda in Iraq. They moved down to Egypt. They were the Egyptian protesters. Egyptian military basically won, and their little plan didn't work there. Then they, uh, Al-Qaeda in Iraq slash Egyptian protesters moved over to Libya, became the uh, Libyan rebels, excuse me, and uh, this president attacked a country to support our enemies, to support Al-Qaeda. That was uh, discovered by West Point Center for Combating Terrorism documents that, where they matched up names from uh, the leadership of Al-Qaeda in Iraq with the leadership of the Libyan rebels. Other countries found out about that. They withdrew their support attacking Libya. 
and it is what it is. Um, like I said, check out the other video. I don't want to have to repeat myself too much. But that's what it is. Um, he's delaying, stalling, do, doing everything he can to protect this ISIS army. Um, you know, he he said he let it slip during an interview one time. This president did. He uh, he said he's a Muslim. He basically said my Muslim faith, and then the, the interviewer had to say, "Well, don't you mean your Christian faith?" And he basically did some double talk. Well, oh yeah, well I meant, blah, blah, blah. you know, you can look that up on YouTube. Um, but that's the fact, you know, and and it's not just. Uh, well, there's more to it, but I'll have to make, you know, I'll, there'll be time for make more, more blogs for that. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope Congress wakes up, discovers what's going on. Um, you know, Congress already has enough uh, against Eric Holder to arrest him and hold him in contempt for lying to Congress. Uh, they have enough to arrest Lois Lerner, the head of the IRS, for targeting conservatives. Uh, there's a lot of scandals. This, you know, Operation Fast and Furious, or um, well, I'll be making a video about that, where where Eric Holder and this president's administration basically um, they basically okayed gun sales uh, to Mexican cartel members, and you know, since then a number of people have been killed by those exact same weapons, including a border patrol agent. Not to mention, who knows how many Mexicans citizens. Um, they did that to, uh, you know, the NRA and other people speculate that they did that so they could try to blame uh, drug violence on our Second Amendment. Uh, but it didn't work. There were whistleblowers, whistleblowers uh, that owned the gun stores, whistleblowers at the ATF. Uh, we see there was another operation, rogue operation by the ATF a few months back. It was reported in the uh, Milwaukee Times where, well, check that out, I don't have it handy, but they were basically committing crimes, and uh, committing a lot of crimes. But uh, it got found out, reported, reported by the Milwaukee Times, reported by the National Rifle Association. And uh, so hopefully Congress will, will not uh, be fooled too much longer. All this, this plan, so-called plan, from Obama to uh, arm Syrian rebels. Uh, again, he's just he's he's confusing the situation and providing more aid to our enemies by doing that. This group of Syrian rebels are not our friends. They are anti-Christian, um, and and like I said, you know he's bought several more months of stalling if they go along with this and. Last I heard, the price tag was half a billion dollars, so he'll be funneling half a billion dollars to our enemies again and buying many more months, quote, many more months uh, to sit back and do nothing and let this ISIS army uh, gain more ground, gain more control, build their infrastructure, and keep uh, committing genocide against Christians. So, Josh Eaton, realitycheckradio.net, ashlandnews.org. If you'd like to uh, call in, leave a comment, or call in and uh, have a discussion and be on the blog, uh, the number is 508-405-9722, and um, I'm not by the phone very often, but leave a message and I'll get back to you, and we'll set it up. Or if um, you can leave a comment at ashlandnews.org, or you can leave a YouTube comment, I'll try and uh, read through them and, and address some questions and comments. And... Um, you know, if you like the work I'm doing, if you think it's important, you can sign up. Sign up to comment at ashlandnews.org. You'll be given two options, and uh, one is to one is free. One is to pay five dollars a month and be a patron. And uh, the more people that do that, the more time it frees up for me to uh, to investigate local, state, national issues and report them. Um, and that's it. So. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and, um, and uh, check it out tomorrow for another daily video blog.